Hi everybody. Um, today I just had a fun little kit and I wanted to walk you through it in case it's something you wanted to try. Super easy. I've kind of put it all together, hopefully, so it'll be very easy. Um, and I'm hoping to make several of these that will kind of go in a series, but this is the first one. So you print everything in the kit. Now there's a page that has this paper and then two little journal cards. I printed two of those. There's also a page that is just this ginormous blue. Let me get it closer. There you go. And I printed two of these also. Now I like things thick, so I printed everything on cardstock except for this page with the journaling cards. Those ones I just kept on regular printer paper um, just because it was getting kind of bulky and I wanted to lighten it up. So I'm hoping I can just show you what it is we're making and then I've got one to kind of put together for you. So here is what we are making. Now, how I envision this is that this will come over the side of a page, so any page, I just have this one for a sample, but in your journal, it will come over the side like this, and on this side, you'll glue here and here, and this becomes a pocket if you want it, and then this side has this cute little postcard pull out and the journaling card, and then when you flip the page, you have this side of it, which has this little pocket tag with a couple of cute little things inside and it's cute on both sides so you can journal. And then I've embellished that. And then there's a pocket with this cute little definition pocket thingy and just a couple of little fun things to tuck in, journal on the back, whatever you want. Then when you open that, you have this flap that has a journaling card on it. Um, and this little dealio here in the middle, it's just a little library pocket type thing with this tag. And I couldn't decide with this one, so I left it open. So you could actually open that and journal in it. You don't have to, you could just make it a nice thick tag and do some journaling on the back but I couldn't decide, so I figured that would leave me more options. I could always glue it down later. And just another little bit of ephemera. This cute little, po this little thing right here is actually a pocket. Some cute little embellishments, and that flips over, and it just has this um, cute little ephemera that I found. And this page I left very flexible. You can make a pocket out of one of those rectangles that I showed you, that's where this came from. So I just made a corner tuck with it, or you could use it like this and make it a full pocket. Just, that's why you have this extra, is because this page is kind of whatever you want. In fact, all of it's whatever you want. You can do whatever. Um, and this is not in the kit. This is just something that I had that I thought, oh, that'd be cute to tuck in there. So, um, and some cheesecloth. And then this also flips this direction. So another journaling one, you see that? Yep. And this is another little ephemera. And again, I haven't glued that shut. I think I will. I made it match on both sides, like so it's foldable. Um, but I can't decide for sure yet what I wanna do. But I made this into a pocket for that. And then I just glued some lace that I had. And that's where we're headed. So I'm gonna set that off to the side and show you how to do this. First of all, I cut everything out. Step one, cut everything, ink everything. Um, there are some pieces I sewed in this, totally up to you. I sewed the definitions around the edges, a pocket, a tag or two. Um, I did do this journaling card just for fun. So I pre-sewed everything so you don't have to watch all of that. So let's just get going and put this together and see where we get. Oh, and I forgot, on right here, 
Um, I just used a punch for that. That's totally optional. You don't have to, but this is the one I used for it. It's a Dress My Craft, and it's just, I think I got it at Joanne Fabric years back. So, there we go. So, this is how this is going to assemble. Let's go ahead and start um, right here. I am just going to, this is a pocket, so I'm going to go ahead and glue that down on three sides on the side that I hole punch. Now remember, this is the flap. This is the one that's gonna go on the opposite side of the page and it will kind of be the support. That when you glue this down, you can just glue these two sides so this becomes a pocket later on, if you want, or you don't have to. So there's that and then that beauty tucks right in there. All right, so that page is done. So this page right here is the one that I left open, that you can make a corner pocket or another pocket, whatever you want. So we don't need to really do much with that one. Now, this page right here, I had to make this so it would be pretty because we didn't want it to just be white. We're trying to make it pretty. So I just took one of the pink pages, and remember I printed these on regular paper, not cardstock. Cut it, inked where I needed to, and now, oh, I bent it, that's okay. It's gonna get bent some more anyway. And then I'm gonna put that right down here, just as much as I can, lining that up. It doesn't need to be perfect, you can always trim later. Press that down, and I made it so it actually goes past the fold, I'll show you. So there's the actual fold, and I did that because this one sticks out just a hair from the side when you get everything in there, and I didn't want it to, I didn't want you to see the white paper after that was folded. So there is that one, and on this one, it just ends up this cute little journaling card. And you can pick, I mean, you can switch these whatever you want, it's very versatile. And so if you're new and you just want somebody to take you through it step by step, then this will do that. But if you see the pieces and you're like, oh, I'd like to use that in a little bit different way, then it's very forgiving and very versatile. All right. So we're going to put that down. Now, before we can glue these two together, we have this little guy to assemble. So let's go ahead and assemble this little flappy guy. Here's the pieces for it. Um, you can go ahead and glue just this short flap down because this long flap is actually gonna be used to go in between the papers to serve as kind of like the hinge. So you can go ahead and glue that top part down right there. And I just did this so it'd be pretty on both sides. Um, I just wanted it to be easy that way. So that is why I did that. Now I'm gluing that short flap down. Like so. Let that dry for just a minute. Um, and again, I use the punch on this one. So feel free or totally optional. You definitely don't have to. All right. So in this pocket is going to go our tag and our cute little dillio right here. Now this guy becomes our cute tiny pocket on the front cover. So I'm gonna go ahead and put him down. And again, I'm just gluing those three sides so it stays a pocket, right like that. Leave that top part open. It's gonna go right about there. And on this one, I put a cute little number just for fun. So let's go ahead and do that. Now with this butterfly, I thought, oh, this could be dimensional. You could leave it up a little if you wanted. Um, I decided that would probably drive me crazy because there's enough going on. So I went ahead and I didn't totally glue the whole thing down, but I really put a good amount of glue through that center section and didn't worry so much about the wings because it's kind of fun to have it floating just a little. I mean, you could bend that and have it really float. It just depends on your taste. 
So this guy is going to come right around there. Not hanging off too much because that would drive me nuts. So, all right. And then in this little pocket comes our little daisy. Okay. Now I'm going to get ready to glue this flap right into here and glue this page down. But first I'm just going to worry about that flap. So here's what I did because I also need this pocket to have some stability through here. So when I glued it down, I put my glue on the flap right here. And then I just put it over the edge just a little bit because that's gonna give that pocket closure. And we want closure in so many ways. All right, let's see. So we're gonna put that baby in there right around there. Looks good. And go ahead and squish that down. Now while that's drying for just a minute, I am going to just put the cute little collage on the back. So all I did, and you could make this a pocket. I felt like it had enough and I didn't wanna make it a pocket. But I wanted this cute little baby picture because I just thought it was so cute. So I put her pretty much right in the center. And then I did this little definition label. And I'm using my heavier glue just because of their, the sewing on there. And again, you could turn that cute little guy into a tiny pocket if you wanted. I mean, there's just a million options with this. All right, so that's down. This is probably dry enough now that I can put our tag in there and our other little seed pack thingy. So that's going in there. And now we are ready to glue this down to this. So go ahead and next to that pink paper, we are gonna go ahead and I'm gonna put it over here cause it's okay if I get glue on that. I got a little crazy with the glue stick. Isn't that a song? Maybe, I don't know. Get crazy with the glue stick. All right, no, it's cheese whiz. It's not even close to glue stick. Well, the junk journaler version says, get crazy with the glue stick. <laughs> and I just did. All right, there we go. Now these just fold together like this. And line it all up. And when you're dealing with it, just take your time and put it together and make sure, oh yeah, that works or that fold doesn't work or, oh, we need a little space there, or whatever. Just mess around with it before you glue it down finally and you will be fine. All right. Now this, we have another cute little pocket here. So this tag is built like this. You'll see when it comes, it's very self-explanatory. It just all folds together, including the pocket, the front and the back. It's all just one piece, fold, fold, and you have your little pocket. So, but I am gonna put a little, cute little rivet here in the top. Well, you guys don't need to watch that part because that will be, well, maybe at the end. We'll see. For now, let's glue down our pocket and get going on that. Again, I'm using my heavy glue going kind of on top of that thread just because it will cause some problems. And I have it about up here. So that goes there. And then I put down this cute little number tag on this one. Right about here. And then this time I did make the cute little love sign. I did make it into a pocket. So it's just really good to ha sometimes have something that's put together and remind you, at least for me, of the different options that sometimes you get in your rut and you forget like, oh yeah, I could do that or whatever, you know, you know. In this little front tag pocket, 
I have two little bits in there. And in this teensy tiny pocket, I have this little guy and this little guy, kind of just decoration. And now I'm gonna go ahead and add my cute little punch up here at the top of the top of the tag. I'm just eyeballing it. You can put whatever color you want. It's very flexible. And then, oh, put that right on down there. Squeeze it. And I just have like some cream sari silk that I've been loving with these soft colors. So go ahead and pull that through or tie a knot however you want. You could just sew some sari silk up top or some lace. It doesn't have to have the whole punch and everything. It's just kind of fun. All right. And that goes there. So, oh, and you know what? It wouldn't be complete without this cute little dangle, right? So you can put a dangle or not, it's up to you. Just a fun little extra. So fun. Okay, so let me see what I'm missing here. We've got our journal card, we've got this, we've got our cute tag, all of our little pullouts, our little flip. Um, and this is the one where, again, you could use this extra journal card, um, or you can use a piece of that leftover pink paper like this and make you yeah, an extra pocket, a side pocket this way, this way, whatever you want, and then tuck whatever you want. It could just be some copy dyed paper for journaling, whatever you have. And then this one, oh, you know what? I have a cute little quote on that one. We don't want to forget our cute little quote. Or if you do, you can put something else, whatever. There's a cute little quote for you. All right. And then when you flip that open, we have here another journaling card that I made this one a pocket. This is the one that you will see on the very, very back when you open it. So I, I'll show you again one more time how it all goes together. Now the ephemera I have for this isn't very deep. So I went like that to seal off the bottom of the pocket because I didn't want the paper falling down in there and getting lost forever. So I did that. So that little pocket goes like that. And then I put another cute little quote here. And there's a couple extra little numbers and things like that. If you want to do a little more embellishing, totally up to you. And... The finishing touch that I did on this was I added a little lace just because it's fun to have some texture sticking off the end. So I'll just eyeball that and then trim it down. Anyway, so I just want it barely hanging over the edge and I'm leaving extras on the end and I will trim that off oh that's fun anyway so you can kind of get an idea just how quick and easy that comes together here's the little bit of ephemera for this pocket it just comes right there and it won't go too far down because I glued it sealed it off um, and if you wanted, you could uh, close that, glue it together, or open it and journal in it. You could add a rivet and another little dangle or some more lace, whatever you wanted up top on that. So, there it is. I'm going to zoom us in and give you the final look through so you can kind of see again how it works in a journal. So, we'll do it with the one we just made. And I'll show you how it goes. So this is what it looks like all unfolded. This is one side of it. And this is the other side. 
This is the piece that you're gonna glue onto the opposite side that's gonna hang over onto another page. And then I envision gluing it here and here and here and having it be another tuck spot right there. But you don't have to, it's enough, it's standalone, it's enough. So then when you flip the page over, we have our pocket tag with some extra little bits in there, another pocket and a teeny pocket which if you've got pockets, you need some cute stuff in it. So we've got that. Um, if you open it this direction, let me scoot it over. Um, and I haven't glued this in, so you're seeing some other stuff. Um, but you've got this little tag pocket right here and some cute journaling spots and some lace. And if you open it this way, you're gonna have another journal spot. You're gonna have this fun little pocket here and this little pocket with this tag, which I left open, but you don't have to. Super cute. Oh, I love how it came together. And then that flips open and you've got this cuteness over here. And then you've got another blank space. Again, remember what we did in our other one was we added this corner pocket right here and another extra tuck, but you can I left it free in case you had pictures or something to go in there. So whatever you want. Anyway, super easy. Um, hopefully the video is enough to make you go, oh yeah, that's how. But really you could use it for any way, any, any kind of, um, put it together any way you want. That's what I'm trying to say. So anyway, way cute. And I hope I hope it'll inspire you and give you some fun ideas and hopefully I'll get another eight or nine that'll coordinate with this. And it would be a whole series for somebody who's just starting out and who just wants to learn some techniques and the process and some different ideas and different ways to do tags and tucks and pockets and all that fun stuff. So anyway, I think it'll be way fun and I can't wait to do more of it. So. We will talk to you guys later, and thanks for watching. I hope you're all doing great. Bye.